So just a few comments, okay, because pressure affects the temperature and hence the seawater density. Okay, so they're just reading through the text that's written here. Okay, so the temperature of a fluid increases under increased pressure. Because of this effect and the slight compressibility of seawater, the density is also depth dependent. So now if you want to compare different densities from different depths, you have a problem. Okay, so in order to compare densities from different depths in the past, scientists have used the concept of potential temperature and potential density. What it means is that you take the temperature at a certain depth and you calculate a potential temperature that this, this water parcel would have if you brought it to a different depth horizon. Okay? So you, it's just a theoretical construct and you can theoretically do temperature correction and compare water masses as the, at the same reference depth. And from this potential temperature, you can also calculate a potential density. Okay. And the word is adiabatically, and which means without heat exchange. So it's just a construct, a theoretical construct, where you assume you, you just account for the pressure effect, okay, if you work out potential temperatures. So in some graphs you see potential temperatures often denoted by the Greek um, theta symbol. But anyway, so I've mentioned that. So now there's a new concept, which uh, is frequently used nowadays, is a concept called neutral density surfaces. Okay? And these neutral density surfaces are constructed from, you start at a certain location in the ocean, and then you just follow the line, no matter whether the depth changes or not, you just follow the line or the surface where you have the same density. Okay, it already takes into account that the, that the density changes if you change the, the, the pressure level, but you, you can show a consistent maps of consistent um, isopycnals or density surface. So here's one example, and you can, you can see the link here in the, uh, of, of density surfaces, and this one is just in the, in the uh, Atlantic Ocean. Okay, and one important note here is that usually the water mass, uh, masses formed in the ocean tend to follow the lines or the surfaces of the same density. So from these type of maps you can infer uh, uh, movement patterns in the ocean. 